Lou, thanks for submitting your video to Cody Golf Instruction Online. I can help you with your shanking. It's a two-part series, though. It's part posture and part swinging motion. Let's do the posture first. You're too bent over from the spine, which puts your plane off a little bit. So I want you to stand a little bit taller, about an inch. No more than an inch. Get in your old position, then get a little bit taller. I also want you to add another inch with your hands. I want you to push your hands away from your body another inch. Then you have to back up to accommodate the golf ball. So your posture is too bent over, your hands are too close. Fix those two things. As you stand to the golf ball, to check your distance, you should have two and a half fists from your belt buckle. One, two, and you get a couple fingers in there. If you're less than that, it's not going to work. You're going to be off playing the geometry of you all wrong. You'll have to compensate on the way down. And obviously you're not doing that, otherwise you'd hit the center. So make those adjustments. Taller spine, hands further from the body. And I want you to work a practice swing. Line up with the ball in the center of the club. Then make a practice swing, missing the ball to the inside. Just like this. What we're doing is we're training the right arm to come instead of out and further away from your body. Because ultimately what's happening when you shank is when you set up, your hands are now returning at impact further from your body. See that? Now I have people that come outside in and then recover, inside out when they recover. You're not recovering. And that's okay. So set up, make a downswing, missing the ball to the inside, just like this, feeling that right arm nice and close to your body. See how the right arm comes inside? Make four or five swings, then set up to the ball, and I want you to shift gears. I want you to swing and try and connect with the toe of the club, feeling that right arm nice and close. You want to try and make ball marks on the club face, just like this. Put ball marks right there, right on the edge, and then we'll sneak our way in. Use, you can use baby powder, put it on the face, or spray on spray. This is called On Your Mark Spray. You can get it at Golf Around the World for $11. It's fantastic. Quick review before we go. Fix the posture. A little taller, a little further away. Make some practice swings, missing inside with that right arm nice and close to your body. Really feel like that right arm is close. Then when you're going to hit the golf ball, I want you to swing the club back and aim right for the toe of the club. That's going to train the arms to stay in. Looks like this. Feel that right arm nice and close. Now aim for the toe when you come down. The baby powder on the face will show where the contact is right on the toe. Please let me know how you're doing with this and get back to me with some results. Have a good day.